This conference will now be recorded. Conference will now be recorded. Yeah, very good morning to one and all uh, respected uh, participants and uh, my dear colleagues and especially today's resource person uh, dr pvv ramarao sir very good morning to all of you uh, sanju sir yes sir i'm here sir yeah uh, please go ahead sir we will start uh, Okay, sir. Without wasting much time, we will start the yeah. session. Yeah, sure, sir. Uh, very good morning to all the participants, uh, uh, respected professors, associate professor, assistant professors, and the resource persons today, uh, Dr. P. V. Ramarao Garu. A very good morning to, to you all, sir. Uh, today is a day three of uh, our chips, uh, that is research challenges in power systems. Uh, and the today's uh, topic of uh, discussion would be IoT applications in electrical engineering. Um, today we have uh, our resource person, Dr. P. V. V. Ramarao Garu, uh, who, who is a professor in Tripoli and Dean R&D. 
in Sri Vasavi College, Engineering College, Tade Paligudam. He has completed uh, D Tripoli uh, Polytechnic, uh, Andhra Polytechnic in Kakinada in the year 1990. He completed B Tech and M Tech uh, from JNTU College of Engineering, Hyderabad in 1998 and 2006, respectively. Uh, he has done his PhD in Tripoli from JNTU, Hyderabad in 2012. His experiences uh, uh, are he worked as a project electrical project coordinator for one year uh, in Astra Teleservices Private Limited, Sikandrabad. He has a 20 plus years of teaching experience where he holds various positions like ad hoc lecturer, assistant professors, associate professor, uh, professor, HOD, Tripoli, and Dean R&D. He is also an NBA and NAC coordinator, BOS member, academic council member, and also a governing body member. He has um, external funded projects, which are a few uh, from last five years that has completed and are ongoing. So the first one is the design and development of integrated solar PV water uh, based water purification and IoT based water quality monitoring system. And then this was funded by Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, um, about the 76.35 lakhs structure framework for handling the design non-linearity with again department of science and technology government of india of 27.89 lakhs the next fpga based multi-level inverter again with the department of science and technology government of india 25.1 lakh grant for organizing international conferences from aicte 1.66 lakhs skill and personality development center again from aicte 19.5 lakhs APCM Skill Excellence Center, APSSDC, 15 lakhs. Desalt uh, 3D Experience Center, APSSDC, 37 lakhs. And MSME Business Incubator, uh, MSME, from 90 lakhs. <clears throat> Dr. PV Ramarao Garu has, uh, international, has uh, published uh, uh, 40 international journals uh, and um, he has attended interna 35 international conferences number of workshops attended is 37 and uh, number of workshops fdps conferences conducted are 28 he has uh, 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 he has 24 national conferences uh, publications and the number of guest lectures is 23 he headed uh, or he uh, shared the chair as a judge for 14 events he is also a member of professional bodies like a life member for ISTE, fellow member in IE India, member of IUCWE, member of World Academy of Science and Technology, member of World Science Engineering Academy and Society, member International Association of Engineers and member International Society for Development and Sustainability. He is a senior member institution of electrical and electronics engineering, sorry, engineers and others. Uh, he is a chief editor, uh, sorry, he is an editor in chief of I Managers Journal on Circuits and Systems, reviewer for few international journals and conferences. He acted as a chair for one session in international conferences organized by Conferences World. Uh, uh, ICRPSM 2016 and KL University ICSCG 2016 BR Siddhartha Engineering College in 2020. He organized uh, three national conferences ETE 2014, ETE 2015 and ETE 2016. The Institute of Engineers India Andhra Pradesh State Council Center Electrical Division member elected for 2017 to 19. He is the young receiver, uh, sorry, he received a young leader award from Venus International Foundation in January 2019. He filed two patents and one patent is published. I feel uh, very honored to read out uh, uh, Dr. P. V. Ramarao Garu's uh, profile. Uh, thank you for giving me the chance, uh, sir. Uh, over to you, Dr. P. V. V. Ramarao Garu. Please take over the session, sir. <laughs> Yeah, good yeah, morning, sir. Thank you, sir. I thank would like to add one yeah, more point yeah. here uh, towards uh, sir. Uh, actually, sir has uh, made a platform to all electrical engineering uh, teaching faculty uh, who makes uh, into a single platform with the help of a, a electrical engineering group, uh, WhatsApp group, as well as Telegram group. Uh, he is always strives uh, towards the, the development of our department uh, uh, as nowadays it is uh, 
the admissions in the our department is uh, going to reduce uh, reduces uh, year by year but he is striving towards development of electrical and electronic engineering department uh, by bringing all the faculty members into a single platform that is a whatsapp as well as a telegram group he has uh, uh, he created that uh, he is uh, he is the person who brought us into a single uh, platform thank you sir thank you very much uh, please go ahead sir yeah uh, thank you dr jay srinivasrao uh, bala sir for nice introduction and adding uh, inspiring words also about me uh, really exciting to hear all those things but uh, it's only just everybody has to contribute uh, towards the growth of our uh, professional career and, uh, especially our electrical and electronics engineering field so that was the motto and objective and uh, so I, i feel always pleasure uh, uh, to be invited and uh, to give or to deliver expert talks on uh, various uh, uh, aspects or various topics in uh, various areas in electrical and electronics engineering and uh, really uh, a good opportunity uh, on the other side uh, i have to thank actually the organizing committee of uh, our chips uh, cmr set uh, okay for giving me this opportunity maybe this is the last word but still i am starting with uh, okay and uh, today uh, i feel very happy to be associated with our chips and deliver a talk on uh, uh, maybe buzz word that is iot applications uh, especially for electrical and electronics engineering uh, maybe just an overview that is only uh, okay so uh, talk uh, the uh, insight of uh, maybe for a researcher so what is to be started and uh, so what are the opportunities or what are challenges okay while uh, implementing iot for electrical and electronics engineering fields electronics engineering and allied fields also one can think of and uh, maybe uh, is uh, i think visible for the slide like, uh, so uh, i expected to honor the person but uh, no questions are there a chart so straight away we can go the internet and uh, yeah questions and most of you know that what is uh, internet so is internet thing so you can see okay so, uh, that is actually here okay uh, internet of things internet so usually connecting people people that is interconnection of all people is internet so that's what uh, people of course can be defined internet can find our the part of internet is going to interconnect okay all the people from various uh, places okay at any given time okay from any uh, uh, in mode something like that uh, may wire any mode uh, maybe less or uh, wired something like that. Uh, here uh, and what is internet of things so one can understand internet of things is uh, okay interconnection of all things so here uh, in things you have objects you have machines people and uh, they interact with each other and with another internet of things so that is the one my definition is the part uh, one can get machines uh, uh, then uh, interacting with each other via internet available also the things you know like people nowadays are uh, Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, people nowadays are talking about uh, okay. Uh, this one uh, uh, Internet of Things as uh, Internet of Everything. People now nowadays have started calling, started calling. So Internet of uh, Things and Humans, and uh, interconnecting things and humans to so enter. From any place, anywhere. So, so uh, then coming to the components of uh, the uh, internet, start what is internet of things and to talk about applications, to talk about what is component or what are the okay, uh, various parts and what uh, foremost 
the main uh, component of iot is interactive first component foremost component first and foremost component is interactive interconnectivity uh, where a person that means uh, uh, where a person or a machine or a device uh, okay can interact uh, with other devices or uh, people or uh, okay uh, machines or sensors at any time or place with digital world and physical world through wire or wireless uh, connections that is what uh, today's uh, internet uh, uh, provides the ubiquitous network environment uh, that is what today's iot so what exactly is today's iot and that is what the main and uh, first and foremost component of iot and here uh, uh, iot maybe uh, in real time practice started around uh, 2003 something like that and during 2008 the number of things connected to the internet uh, exceeded the number of people on the earth. so that what in uh, around 2003 2008 uh, these uh, five years so the number of things connected to the internet has been exceeded or uh, exceeded the number of people on the earth so most of you are witnessing and we are witnessing and uh, nowadays we are seeing that in uh, in this year so 50 billion uh, things are uh, interconnected that's what interconnectivity so very high interconnectivity so the iot and the internet uh, is providing ubiquitous uh, network environment with high interconnectivity uh, so between the uh, people man to man machine to machine man to machine okay uh, machine to sensor machine to device or machine to computer something like that so uh, that is why one can say that i would ask the dimension okay anything communication so the ubiquitous network that what maybe in one phrase uh, one can okay, uh, anything uh, communication to the uh, internet so that is what internet of things so here uh, that is given by itu recommendation activity 4000 and here uh, on the on my right my right hand side when you are on right hand side you can see uh, what is this iot architecture or something like that. so uh, power power view of iot so the internet okay the physical objects plus digital objects plus sensors actors controllers physical objects maybe okay uh, uh, what you call a fan or a tv or something like that okay, equipment maybe uh, combined with the sensors actors and controllers uh, and uh, providing some internet that means internet. so with the, the help of that is nothing but our iot so that means one can understand with the simple picture so what is uh, iot okay, what type of let me go to the next slide. So complex components of IoT. So so IoT components you can see combining the network inputs into some uh, are going to integrate data people process systems for better making. So especially IoT uh, makes decision makers the interconnection of people and processes or uh, platform. To interconnect the people and process and then uh, take a wise decision or a better decision with the, with the help of uh, sensing the data and correlating the data and uh, uh, processing data so and uh, comparing with standards something like that and, and, okay arrive at iot so that is what actually people in process some process and some people Okay, so here is the location, maybe some tracking for people, uh, stock market, or uh, what is the price forecasting. So these type of things, okay, uh, get it from the IoT, okay, and then uh, customer relationship and support, uh, analytics and cloud, software is something like that and then upgrades and configurations for maintenance control and that. the process actually control and automation process and supply chain management process security energy monitoring devices and that. so that's what uh, interconnects the people uh, uh, and the devices so that uh, the process the information collected are better sense and then 
okay uh, leads to take a relos uh, to take better uh, decisions something like that. so the court actually divert it to the component or uh, more the component so that is why uh, maybe first and foremost component is interconnectivity i say and the second component may be data third component may be process and analysis okay uh, like that okay so on uh, interoperability also is one of the component one more the component of the okay this one and uh, adaptation adaptability and the configuration so these are all the, okay the some of the components of iot but uh, i strictly say that or i stress upon the first and foremost component of the iot is interconnectivity then adaptation and self adaptation self reliability are the next comes uh, after that also so this is what actually uh, maybe uh, uh, further understand so internet what is internet of thinking uh, understand further so device connection is connection okay and then uh, okay so device connection sensors i got devices then connectivity and internet and embedded intelligence and intelligence control or something like that. then once devices are connected and reliability the level level connection and the embedded intelligence then the data then hello hello sir uh, store is something like that hello sir send back store is uh, then uh, third part actually data okay actually the transport for communication this is uh, third part. hello and uh, okay so getting and uh, communicate uh, remote uh, uh, for the help of apps something like monitoring something like that like the help of files monitoring okay whatever it is that hello sir, am i audible hello, sir hello you yeah, are little bit low sir uh, is that, there? Is, that is, I, I would like to inform yeah am i audible voice is uh, okay, okay voice is low sir no, voice no, is low is hello my network is uh, yeah yeah my network is little bit slow uh, uh, because of raining uh, still i am yeah, trying yeah. actually to okay yes. uh, voice audible uh, i am trying okay now it okay ah uh, yes sir yes sir so this slide okay uh, or uh, from, from previous slide yeah. is voice is audi- not audible yeah now it is okay sir now it is okay sir uh, yeah 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 so that's what actually the uh, from connecting devices to humans that's what internet of uh, things and maybe one can understand the help of this diagram at okay, various uh, stages in internet of things okay, device connection first point then second data sensing and the third okay communication then the fourth data analytics are processing something like data value analysis uh, once uh, we have come uh, arrive with some application something like that then human value okay that's what from connection to benefit okay this diagram will uh, tell you so what are the uh, from connection to benefit what is internet of things or how internet of things will help okay uh, that's what and uh, uh, okay uh, now uh, device uh, connection so that's what iot devices then iot connectivity then embedded intelligence so that's what device connection uh, i told you the first and foremost component of iot is interconnectivity that means interconnection of devices okay uh, interconnectivity iot connectivity that's what you have to take care of in the iot the top thing with the help of internet with the help of which are that uh, devices process some process and uh, okay some system some uh, hardware and some software okay they, you have to bring uh, the interconnectivity can embed intelligence also then uh, second uh, criteria uh, second point okay in internet of things maybe this is what we can say architecture or some procedure okay the iot procedure or iot process data sensing so once uh, devices sensors and actuators the controllers are interconnected and some some embedded intelligence then uh, capturing data takes place and uh, there are sensors and tags and then you have to store you have to see that okay the data sense are captured uh, is stored in uh, okay maybe with the help of cloud or something some 
storage devices. It's usually cloud nowadays. Uh, they are sending the data, whatever the captured data or sensitive data is being sent to the cloud, something like that. Then you have to communicate, uh, okay. The data transport, get transport. Once the data is ready, then next step may be data analytics, okay. Nowadays, big data analysis, AI, cognitive analysis. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, we have to compare the experience data, uh, the present data with the uh, past data, something like that, or with some standards. Uh, uh, that means to okay, that's what actionable, actionable intelligence. Okay, the data analysis is always uh, okay. The starting uh, point or uh, the course, uh, that's what we can say. So, application stakeholder benefits. That's what actually the last uh, process of the last bench. Uh, that's what. So, what is uh, Internet of Things? What, what is the four features of uh, from connectivity? Then what are connected? What not actually 50 billion devices are nowadays connected. 50 billion things are already connected. So furthermore, actually every device, every equipment, every machine, okay, even public or people, right? Public systems or private systems, most of the systems are okay nowadays being connected. So each and every uh, even small component in a system is being connected to the internet. So that is the of things has become okay, the wire and robust. Okay. So uh, here the B is actually uh, unique identity. So there's one feature, unique identity uh, can brought out, can print. Then everything is connected. That is another feature. Programmable. So sensing and embedding intelligence and interoperable communication. Okay. So any dimension. Okay, from any place, anywhere. Anytime, something like that. Okay, uh, anyone. Okay, that's what. And then uh, cell transportation, cell adaptation, uh, service delivery. Finally, okay, that's what I told you. These are all uh, features of IoT scope and features of IoT. So why I am saying all these things before we see the options of our. So one should know what is the and what is I would the answer access the information or okay the this one like it will help us one should know then only you can apply for any application any electrical field or other values. So here uh, from this uh, uh, diagram uh, maybe a little more uh, okay understanding so one can have. Here, uh, perception. Uh, perception in the previous slide, I told you uh, data you uh, okay, the sensing capturing data. Now. So, this is what actually capturing data sensors uh, ID in the, uh, okay, like that. So, sensors are uh, some uh, okay, uh, uh, monitor or something like that. Okay, so sensing the data or camera or something. Like that. So, cameras are also sensors. Okay, uh, apart from uh, temperature sensor kind of thing or the flow sensor kind of thing or anything kind of thing. Okay, like that. So then uh, you have to network them. So all the sensors to be interconnected uh, for interoperable communication, something like that. Maybe Wi Fi or water or access point, something like that. Then your application comes. Okay, smart city or smart grid or smart government. Okay, like that. So this is what we so what I can say, I would deploy some smart sensors or machines and smart controllers, actuators are released with the proprietary communication, okay, uh, and internet technologies. That's what actually. So internet, okay, so, uh, so proprietary, okay, uh, communication, the sensors, machines, controllers, act. So that's what finally uh, I would be architecture. So once you know IoT architecture, then okay, what, what is the application? What application? So then 
uh, so this uh, I will tell you uh, this uh, okay uh, bring you some concept on i would operate uh, whatever i told, told you of course uh, smart uh, maybe summary you can summarize the iot operation you can understand the summary of iot operation with this diagram this picture so here okay so, Okay, relays something and uh, it uh, displayed and uh, will be stored in uh, cloud or storage. In either way, it is shown the diagram. Maybe from application point of view, some application. Right? So then uh, here data stored and all analytics, big data analytics, something like that, and getting some statistics and. Uh, Okay, I'm bringing some uh, machine learning and intelligence, some intelligence, okay, taking patient like that. And then uh, maybe one or two patients are uh, three or four different uh, that, uh, depending on the analysis, the storage, etc. And getting statistics then, uh, okay. So to take a better decision, that means all this process will allow us uh, to make a better decision. But for taking better decisions, okay, uh, what you will do. So wherever uh, you want, okay, the decision uh, making or something like that. So there you can uh, go for what you uh, are talking. So that I want the application. It suits applications. Then uh, process and cost of what communication, automation and control, what information machine coming. That, pray, that brings in uh, time saving and uh, in big data. So, knowledge, so, database, okay, database, okay, this for analysis that okay, database you can have it with uh, of uh, IoT. Then, uh, so, get quality, okay, then whether just about any so overall quality, I uh, okay, so that is one uh, so advantage of IoT. But coming to the uh, cost, right? Uh, maybe some disadvantages are uh, uh, the challenges. Actually, these are not disadvantages. One has to look for uh, the challenges and we have to overcome. So, uh, so far, of course, they are coming. Uh, they are coming international standards, but uh, no high-level international standards uh, for compatibility of various uh, devices and all. So, standards always uh, required and will help us in uh, maintaining okay the uh, proper compatibility or high compatibility. Then, uh, because so many devices, uh, 50 billion devices, we can understand the complexity. So, uh, what we feel that our power system is uh, a lot, uh, complex system, like that IoT is also a complex system. So, if you come to the distribution system, complex various types of equipment directly load, uh, load equipment is directly connected to distribution system. And the load equipment, you have so many because advanced uh, okay appliances we are coming across okay uh, power electronic devices and all power electronic circuits and uh, okay the artificial intelligence and the logic like that. So uh, advanced uh, equipment appliances we are using nowadays. That's why we are calling it distribution network okay complex combinatorial network like that. IoT we have to build a complex combinatorial network. Various types of sensors. Okay, actuators, controllers, uh, relays are uh, interconnected for making them into interoperable uh, communication. Internet is there on the other side, and uh, sometimes wired and sometimes wireless. Okay, or the combination. Okay, you find so that is why complexity, many points of failure, technical and operational. So that's why you have to look for this uh, challenge also. You have to go. Okay, and you have to reduce the complexity. Okay, by adopting some uh, standards and uh, uh, making the system okay com uh, complex free something like that. So security also right? so uh, sometimes is few data that involved so that uh, privacy and security you have to take care of and the safety manipulation data somebody and manipulate like our in our small grid loss of human skills social interaction. So these are all uh, some challenges what I uh, not ask something like that. We have to take care of. Uh, then 
so iot uh, machine to machine and big data how they are interconnected okay they can think of okay internet of the one big data okay so uh, maybe person to person or people to people machine to people so machine to okay uh, machine like that machine to machine like that so the interactions so here uh, comes the okay this uh, portion comes the internet of things okay uh, this portion so machine to person machine to machine. person to person maybe like mobile money transactions no i voting so here machine to person so hand water pumps equipped to send text message reports or party pumps or something like that. then uh, machine to machine okay so network smoke and uh, fire sensors to transmit warnings or to inform okay something is going uh, something is uh, in danger okay like that Okay, on intensity populated uh, informal settlement something like that. Even uh, okay, the Internet of Things and machine to machine aggregate data from files in settlements. Okay, this is what. And here big data. So that's what. Okay, so here the data is involved and so that aggregate data. And here uh, here also okay big data that is tracking mobile signals for populated files. And here also. Right, uh, so paper census records, digitize them, then analyze. And here, aggregate uh, water pumps. So, like how internet of everything and everyone, okay, uh, uh, that, uh, okay, big data. So the uh, interoperability one can understand from this uh, diagram, okay. So uh, let me take one or two questions at least, uh, so, far, so that uh, we'll move on another uh, direction. Like, uh, what are the sensors? Okay, uh, you, uh, uh, still voice is not clear. My voice is clear. Or voice is clear? Take one or two questions. Still, why is this clear? Somebody uh, not clear. Also. <clears throat> okay, so uh, now, so now, why is it audible? My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Little bit low, sir, but yeah, it is audible. Because, uh, uh, because we are moving ahead and in another direction, like what are the Types of sensors uh, user per uh, user in IoT or uh, come across in IoT, and then uh, after uh, seeing the sensors, different types of sensors, and then application, different application. So uh, I am not getting any questions. So that I will go to the. So these are all uh, different types of sensors. Actually, we come across in IoT. Of course, we are already there. Uh, different types of sensors are there, okay, like position sensor, frequency sensor, working sensor, then motion sensor, displacement sensor, velocity sensor, then temperature sensor, sound, but the gas sensors, chemical sensors, flow metrics, flow sensors, force, torque, uh, load, okay, strain, pressure, peaks, levels, electricity, magnetic, okay, acceleration, field. Okay, then optical ambient light or machine. Okay, these are all different types of sensors actually uh, come across in uh, okay uh, our uh, IoT uh, Internet of Things. And then uh, this sensor used for uh, what is the function of each sensor? We can understand. So for manufacturing functions, these are the sensors actually help, helpful. So uh, asset management, smart sensors, diagnostics for uh, industrial control. Tank monitoring, data collection. So these are all uh, uh, maybe sensors for uh, manufacturing functions, and then for transport, uh, actually position sensor, uh, presence, proximity sensors. GPS also acts as a sensor, like tracking, okay, the location, okay, uh, and uh, to direct, okay, uh, to reach the destination, something like that. Then uh, water and utilities point of view, pressure, temperature, flow rate, electricity. These are the Okay, uh, sensors okay for water function. Then infrastructure, force, load, torque, okay, strain, pressure sensors. 
Applied health care, smart body sensors, remote uh, patient monitoring, uh, temperature sensor, and the BP heart rate uh, sensor like that. So, conservation acoustic sound and vibration sensors. Then, homes, temperature sensor, okay, energy sensor like home monitoring, HVAC, lighting control, solar energy, building alarms, security, fire intrusion, like that. Okay, so sensors for uh, functions. These are all uh, some sensors for. Uh, functions and then uh, agriculture sensors these are the agriculture sensors uh, for agriculture purpose think of uh, okay so camera also a sensor i told you for uh, deep self monitoring or lighting brightness okay to measure or to know that chlorophyll measurement ripeness level okay whether the fruit is ripe something like that leaf area index lai then soil or organic content, okay, uh, like condition, something like that, parameters, carbon makeup, then GPS location for crop mapping, disease or pest location alerts, solar radiation predictions and fertilizing. Like, uh, prediction is always important, okay, to fertilize or uh, supply the fertilizer, okay, or uh, chemicals, something like that, uh, mixed up, okay. Then uh, predictive maintenance of machinery, the microphone, then accelerometer, gyrometer sensors, then other sensors also temperature, pressure, sound. Okay, these are all uh, sensors okay, for various functions in uh, agriculture. So because uh, uh, so myself uh, a little bit focused on agriculture also the application. That's why uh, that's the slide is presented. So then IoT applications and technologies. So IoT applications uh, promise to bring immense value into our lives. That's why. So maybe quality of life, okay, index, quality index of life will be enhanced because of IoT applications. But on the other side, privacy and security need to be taken care, and the complexity need to be taken care, uh, even compatibility also need to be taken care. But on the other side, we have got uh, a promising application. Okay, so promising results uh, that uh, quality. Okay, with the new wireless networks, superior sensors, and revolutionary computing capabilities, I want it to be the next frontier in the race because day by day the technology is advancing, and uh, even computing capabilities are advancing. Okay, so I want it to be a frontier in the race, next frontier in the race. So these are all applications and need of mobility and fixed and mobile. So smart grid, smart metro, smart city, remote monitoring. So uh, the mobile type e health, the logistics, portable consumer electronics, something like that. And the technology, dispersed technology, geophysical, uh, uh, geographical, okay, spread, uh, dispersed and uh, concentrated uh, technologies, fixed and mobile. This is the relation actually. Uh, one can see from the table. Okay, the technology, PSTN, broadband, 4G, 5G also coming. Okay, power line communication here also technology because it's a mobile it's a satellite or 4G something like that. And here because it is fixed, right? So broadband or you can go for PSD also. And uh, concentrated applications, smartphone, factory automation, we health and technology, wireless, uh, personal area network or wired network or indoor electrical wiring. And here uh, because mobile on site logistics, that's why Wi Fi or Wi Fi. Uh, wireless uh, personal area network wi So here on the left side, uh, okay, for you or me, so you can see the application, different applications like the smart hospital, smart city, okay, smart stadium, smart highway, smart factory, anything becomes smart, okay, with the help of either. and smart home, okay, smart uh, traffic system, something like that, okay, smart industries, okay, anything, uh, okay, becomes smart, okay, if you add IoT. Okay, even uh, smart uh, defense system like that. Okay. So these are all various uh, applications. Now uh, coming to the different IoT technologies and logic scale IC. IC is okay, Bluetooth, Gateway, GP. I am not that much okay uh, familiar with all these uh, technologies, but these are all technologies. Okay, like less than one gigahertz, a 60 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Okay, 5.0. Uh, this this the IEEE standards it is given. So these are all IoT technologies and IC scale, logic uh, scale. 
uh, let me go to application so far we have considered on what is iot and uh, what is iot structure what is the iot architecture what is the what are the pros and cons of iot and uh, so what are the okay advantages what are the sensors or different types of sensors okay uh, come across in iot are helpful for iot making things interconnected and uh, making machines making machines and different things to interact okay so uh, what are the various types of sensors we have seen now let us see the applications part and uh, so the first application uh, because our, ours is agriculture based uh, country so that uh, our country's uh, development or national development is based on agriculture so that it is taken so here uh, from these two uh, images one can understand how iot is helpful for agriculture maybe smart farming greenhouse farming hope oh, most of you heard about uh, greenhouse farming okay smart uh, farming Maybe I can say that smart farm. Smart farming. So smart farming or greenhouse farming. Okay, GHF. That's what I said. Smart farmers. So to enable the farming, okay, uh, to predict uh, various conditions, various conditions, and take better decisions. So that is what actually the objective of IoT for agriculture. So or uh, the objective behind uh, okay the smart farming or greenhouse farming. Okay, so what is this greenhouse farming? Okay, with the greenhouse farming is provided with some embedded devices. Okay, uh, to monitor. Okay, embedded devices to monitor and enable. Okay, to control the climate inside that greenhouse farming. Okay, greenhouse. And uh, various sensors. Okay, here uh, uh, the sensors over here. Okay, this is uh, inside. Okay, uh, uh, greenhouse. So inside this greenhouse, various sensors and actuators like uh, temperature, moisture. Okay, uh, then humidity, something like that. Moisture, humidity. So these type of uh, sensors, different types of sensors, with the help of controls and switch gear. Okay, where to on and off. Okay, the various types of devices, lighting or uh, cooling or okay, uh, this and that. Okay, uh, or uh, plugging something like that. Okay, or uh, uh, water uh, pumping. Okay, so like that. Uh, so for this inside the greenhouse uh, farm. So this is what the setup greenhouse in the greenhouse farm. Inside the greenhouse, this is the setup actually. Okay, uh, uh, using IoT. So, because wherever sensors are connected, some controls are interconnected, and some appliances are interconnected, so then IoT comes no doubt. So, that's what we can say that IoT. So, here uh, uh, things are connected, machines are connected, sensors are connected, interconnected, internet is there. And uh, okay, through some gateway and monitor through some connection gateway, so maybe a smartphone by a remote control. And uh, monitor display outside the greenhouse, so parameters display, and then uh, through remote commands, uh, the cloud storage uh, the different data, uh, and of course here you can also include uh, some processing uh, system of data analysis, uh, some processing system and comparing some standard conditions. Then uh, okay, giving some alert. Okay, water is required or uh, temperature is required. Or, okay, something like that. Our uh, leaf health is somewhat diminishing. Okay, like a smart farm. So this is what smart control. Okay, and smart monitoring, and smart uh, planning. Okay, maybe right from seed sowing to okay seed uh, uh, supplying water or chemicals. Okay, and then uh, okay yield of the uh, crop. Okay, that's what. So here uh, uh, all the sensors are uh, the IoT devices. Uh, uh, measure different parameters uh, according to the okay the type of uh, crop according to the requirement of the uh, plants or the crop okay then uh, okay uh, process the data whatever the collected data or captured captured data and then uh, compare with uh, okay the past data or experience data past experience data then take a better decision. Okay, that's what actually uh, greenhouse farming or smart uh, farming. Okay, IoT application comes for smart farming. 
and then uh, iot applications for healthcare iot applications for industries is also so healthcare and then industries so here healthcare because nowadays actually wearable gloves and all hope you might have come across in the literature okay smart uh, healthcare system iot based smart healthcare system or uh, wearable gloves or wearable uh, devices okay uh, once we wear those devices suppose uh, some smart hat smart hat smart belt uh, okay uh, smart watch okay like that some smart systems okay uh, uh, which are embedded with some sensors and uh, some actuators so they are sensing the data and uh, they are processing the data thereby uh, you can check the condition monitoring something like that body condition how the like the top monitoring Top condition, body condition monitoring can obtain human body multiple physiological parameters. So, yeah, wearable multi parameter sensor network. Wearable multi parameter sensor networks, okay, nowadays, yeah. glucose levels, okay, heart uh, pulse rate, heart, uh, heart pulse rate, like that, okay, heart rate, or BP, then, uh, all these things are basically they are measured, then how many steps you have taken, something like that. So, things okay uh, that comes under health care okay here also uh, two years back one of the uh, product batch VTEC product batch with uh, smart glove okay wearable glove uh, five uh, parameters like five fingers if you wear that glove of course you can see that in the literature also wearable gloves i would be based wearable gloves so one finger okay so maybe temperature sensor and the other finger maybe heart rate or pulse rate then uh, third finger, uh, like uh, say a BP, okay, like that. Actually, uh, five senses, okay, five fingers. So in the five, uh, five fingers of the glove, so the okay, hand glove, okay. If you wear that hand glove, okay, so continuous monitoring of the the body multiple uh, physiological parameters, not multiple, five param five physiological parameters are monitored at a time, and uh, maybe remote monitoring also. Suppose that. Uh, a patient is there, something like that, and the uh, patient is in hospital, and uh, the caretaker, suppose, uh, caretaker came suddenly came to house, so that uh, maybe through mobile also, okay, you can monitor, okay, that mobile allows, the app allows, okay, to monitor the condition, body condition, or physiological, five physiological parameters of that uh, patient, uh, okay, remotely. So like that, so that's what uh, IoT healthcare, IoT application for healthcare. Then coming to the industries, so for industries, actually nowadays people are calling it as industrial Internet of Things, IIoT, industrial Internet of Things. Nowadays people are calling it IOE, not IOT also. So IOE days have start, been started even uh, four or five years back also. Okay, the word is started like this, Internet of Everything. And Internet of Everything, and then uh, particularly for industries, is I I O T okay industrial internet of things that means in industry maybe different type of sensors and the different types of industries and uh, maybe production is different different type of products and production process may be different okay so the real time optimization of production process and the supply chain network in industry. Uh, Maybe, maybe uh, welcome people are uh, to be, uh, taken care and need to be started uh, the production of various types of products uh, okay, getting produced by okay, this uh, industries and also supply supply chain network in industry by networking various types of sensors, control systems, actuators, and machinery together. So that is what industrial internet of things. Industrial internet of things. Then uh, comes to our electrical engineering industry, electrical and electronic engineering applications to electrical and electronic engineering. Maybe this is what our talk, maybe this took nearly uh, 45 to 50 minutes to come to this talk. Okay, so here I just uh, 
you know already uh, what is the basic of uh, okay uh, basics of basic architecture you can say that basic architecture so that from the basic architecture one can understand okay uh, what is the application for uh, electrical so here uh, electrical means uh, uh, usually come across okay circuits usually come across any electrical uh, device or operators we can make it as a circuit circuit and then if you connect the circuit with the sensors actuator devices or relays relays and then uh, uh, through uh, and uh, you can interface okay with the help of internet and uh, okay some wired or wireless network okay to the system or uh, mobile or something like that okay with the help of internet okay that's what actually our complete uh, okay iot in electrical and electronic engineering or iot in electrical technology iot for electrical technology so this is what actually uh, electrical okay this is what actually i Uh, this is what actually things okay these are all uh, things okay interfacing devices and that. okay that's what actually so iot is in electrical and electronics engineering so iot uh, actually uh, brought some revolutionary transformation okay uh, in electrical power industry especially the power industry transformed the way things performed usual manner or conventional manner nowadays actually all things have been changed and uh, increased the use of wireless uh, technology uh, to connect the assets various types of power industry assets and infrastructure uh, 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 why all this the interconnection or uh, okay the assets and the infrastructure is all okay for best utilization or to make it effective utilization and uh, thereby can reduce the consumption cost okay the losses and the theft and all those things you can can be reduced theft and stress can be reduced losses can be reduced okay in fact you can improve the forecasting predict prediction will be uh, almost realistic okay prediction will be realistic uh, that's what and now coming to the applications uh, aspects right these are all applications okay uh, i hope home and uh, building automation home and building automation then uh, smart metering then scada scada is another application smart grid you know already then uh, fault detection so then uh, theft detection fault detection theft detection condition monitoring then uh, monitoring the pub, uh, connected public lighting even uh, condition monitoring of the uh, various machines connected right in the network in the system it can be done with the help of iot that is also one application so smart home application smart energy okay smart building okay or building automation home automation this is what home automation okay so here uh, wide area network home area network advanced metering infrastructure like that uh, can be divided okay so home area network hn wide area network van and advanced metering infrastructure so this is all these three combined together you can say that okay uh, that's what actually so wide area networks uh, maybe a smartphone set up box and uh, okay and uh, okay uh, lp band that is wide area network right so low protocol something like that uh, here uh, low cost security alarm so all these things come together and these are all used for uh, home automation and then uh, personal area networks home area network and high speed uh, network so network catalog storage audio visual system and all those things and that smart locks and this is what actually smart energy management devices interconnecting advanced uh, metering infrastructure thereby the entire uh, okay the configuration becomes a smart home uh, this is what actually here home uh, okay and then uh, interconnecting with mobile and cloud and then some monitoring the data devices sensor devices so that means one can say that okay this uh, home automation uh, integrates a set of sensor devices network devices utilities different applications different protocols okay uh, operating systems additional software enabled remote services so these are all uh, might be some of you might have done some uh, projects also 
for that uh, okay smart build smartphone okay and also apps also there okay remote uh, and remote monitoring or remote operation of the various uh, loads in the house okay apps also we might have developed our projects under under our guidance students might have we developed the projects okay even uh, uh, 10 years back itself it started uh, home and building automation for buildings like that so home area network right network operation energy optimization uh, dependability security all these things so it is all okay remote monitoring and control through mobile and web applications to the end users are one us so these are all okay so dependability network operation profitability maintainability self management self adaptation adapt deployment then uh, efficiency and okay power requirements is the known uh, then uh, okay security certifications confidentiality identification integrity so all together is home and building automation so particularly uh, one can uh, understand so what is especially okay various thermostats gateways walls and actuators relays okay sensors rotors controls there by monitoring and control and uh, storing the data and there by predictions forecasting and there by controlling the uh, control so once the, the data is sent monitoring and once the data is stored and anal- analyzed and some predictions and some decisions then control okay that's what actually uh, smart automation smart home and building automation smart okay smart metering is an essential element in smart grid okay uh, most of us know that smart metering nowadays okay Uh, right from domestic consumer to um, uh, large, uh, that is uh, I what I can say bulk load consumer industries. Okay, okay, everywhere, right? So we are using smart meters. Uh, earlier we have only conventional type of meters and uh, magnetic electromagnetic type meters. Smart meters, nothing but uh, some kind of digital meters. Then for okay, connected to internet and connected to other uh, devices, nothing but smart meters. okay a meter connected to other meters other sensors other devices uh, via internet that is wireless or wired okay communication wired wired or wireless communication that's what so uh, this smart metering has entirely tra- uh, transformed the traditional energy infrastructure and uh, okay the uh, monitoring okay so at every point monitoring is taking place okay monitor Every every point one can monitor. Okay, at every point one can monitor that entire asset or entire infrastructure range. Okay, uh, capturing the data, uh, sending it. Okay, to the utilities, uh, even for consumers. Uh, okay, or highly reliable uh, communication infrastructure. That's what. So this smart metering, one of the major advantages of this smart metering is improving the forecasting. So. So smart metering because of smart metering the forecasting okay took place and uh, maybe uh, forecasting also realistic forecast and reduces energy theft and loss that's what i but one thing i can say that it improves improved a lot forecasting for forecasting and for uh, home uh, 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 or special reduce the high water in a time okay load something like the normal uh, times actually they can switch on the peak Okay, that's what can schedule. Schedule the hours. That part of course, that part of the hours. The variation is part actually remote monitoring and uh, not only remote monitoring at every stage, at every point of the entire infrastructure range. Okay, monitoring and control takes place. Uh, effective forecasting can be done. Then. Uh,
IoT based smart grid can schedule the consumer support to operate their high voltage loads when demand on the grid is low. That is also one. That means these sensors, because of the sensors, okay, uh, load uh, forecasting takes place. And because of the load forecasting, it is higher, okay, peak demand or uh, low demand, something like that. So when low demand, so that consumers are, uh, uh, can be alerted or can be sent a message that you can operate high voltage loads, okay, like that. So, okay, so these, are all, these are all possible with the help of uh, connection of all the sensors. And uh, public lighting is what actually uh, the uh, last application uh, so that we can find up by taking one or two questions. Two questions. So here, uh, public lighting, so uh, the street lighting. Okay, so one, two, three, something like that. Okay, and they both sides. Okay, then uh, this is actually connected to public lighting. It's not uh, public lighting, it's a part of uh, smart cities, a partial project, a part of a project under smart cities. So, wireless IoT solutions are required to connect IP based. So, uh, every street light uh, will have some IP, okay, different protocol. So, IP based lights that is called smart uh, public lighting. So, maybe you have seen, right? Uh, uh, Couple of years back, okay, automatic uh, street lighting, something like that. So, uh, little bit, a uh, little bit beyond or uh, beyond that automatic street lighting. So, Bluetooth based or uh, some uh, microcontroller based, okay, automatic lighting. So, beyond that, okay, so even intensity control. At the time, we were thinking of that intensity control, illumination control, illumination control or brightness control, this and that, okay, uh, to save the energy or, uh, okay, to reduce the carbon grade. Okay, something like that to improve to reduce the carbon emission or to uh, improve the carbon grids like that. So, okay, this is what we thought of, and now it is possible with the help of uh, okay, IoT deployment or IoT solutions deployed to connect uh, the IP based lights. Okay, uh, centrally controlled from uh, control station uh, using intelligent uh, connected outdoor LED luminaries. And this also provides a dynamic adjustment of illumination based on the environmental conditions or changing conditions. Based on the occupancy, based on the environmental conditions, okay, based on the need or requirement, okay. So dynamic adjustment, okay, it provides facilitates that's what I would be based, I would be connected the public lighting, so which results in lower operating cost. So here the sensors may be proximity sensors and uh, the temperature sensors humidity sensors like that actually and motion sensors okay if anybody is if any object is moving then uh, okay control of the public light so like that so by uh, interconnecting uh, these uh, two types of IR sensors uh, it can be achieved the uh, i would be connected public light So power of detection, uh, some of my students did uh, project, but here uh, uh, different uh, okay, configurations here it is. Okay, for the power of detection, I would be based on power of detection, you need uh, Arduino or some kind of okay. So Arduino, LCD, okay, GSM, then uh, this module, ESP, module. Energy meter two transformers and loads, okay, like that. So, energy meter one, energy meter two. Then, uh, okay, some legal load is connected here, the legal load. So, look at the difference, okay, then some voltage appears, uh, and that voltage uh, crosses certain level. Then, okay, the depth, okay, like that, okay, GPS to GPS through YP, uh, YP module. And this is like a VTEC project, okay, small uh, VTEC project. So this is what actually here the flow this circuit diagram so voltage regulator okay sensor and the ESP model okay or uh, nowadays actually people are doing with uh, that's what energy meter uses to measure the input power and two transformers are used to measure the voltage consumed in two different areas thereby if difference is zero no uh, if difference is there okay taking place this is what uh, overview of this uh, power of detection using IoT. 
so you will find so many papers are there on the power of detection smart energy market and energy condition this is uh, our great uh, quality state uh, quality great quality recently last year so we are without the uh, depth and this is the depth no depth yes So condition monitoring of induction motor. So my students also did on uh, it, and you will find so many uh, papers in the literature so on condition monitoring of various types of motors. So here uh, our students did uh, four sensors by taking so overload, power voltage, then temperature, power temperature something like that, and vibration also. So these are the temperature sensor, voltage sensor, current sensor, vibration sensor. So here, uh, actually, various sensors are connected. Hope you are going through, uh, the participants are going through the block diagram and the on the right-hand side. Okay. How uh, to do, you know, and uh, a communication, this one, okay, communication block, and uh, so this uh, thing speak to this cloud storage. And here, analysis can be done. Then, you know, ESP and this thing speak. Okay, analysis can be done, and if a fault is there, then alert message. So all these sensors are connected. You know, board continuously record the constant parameter and the temperature, temperature, voltage sensor, voltage, current, current, current one, vibration sensor, vibration. So this Arduino process the real time data and the store to the cloud with the help of uh, ThingSpeak cloud computing platform. ThingSpeak is a cloud computing platform. And to upload the data to ThingSpeak uh, platform, you need to write a pro program. Uh, account is to be created for every uh, number of people to be selected depending on how so, like, program is selected, both hardware and software. And each field is assigned with one parameter, which is represented. And web application is developed well, for continuous monitoring of parameters. So, that's what. so instant alert will be received on the web page for any abnormal operation. That's what compare in data analysis and then compare. So this is, uh, I think, last application, and these are all number of applications for sensor networks. Uh, actually, is endless. So saving, predictive maintenance, smart cities, okay, knowledge base, industrial automation, intelligent banking, improve productivity, agriculture, smart farming, smart grid, smart home, defense, defense applications. These are all uh, wide variety of applications. So I would. So. Simply Internet of Things, uh, one can. So sensing, analyzing, monitoring, interacting, and adjusting. That's what. So any questions? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful presentation. Uh, even yeah. though in the critical time, like uh, the weather is not supporting us. Uh, dear participants, if you have the queries, please, uh, you can interact with this, sir. Uh, 
actually network is very low <laughs> so things are becoming very slow yes sir yes sir weather is not good uh, network is uh, very low and uh, so uh, Even almost most of the times i am getting the you have thing. presented in a very nice uh, manner sir wonderful presentation yeah. thank you very much sir yeah many times i got the message that your experience your network is experience so welcome thank you organizing committee so any questions like yeah my dear participants if you have the queries please interact with this sir i think presentation will be shared i think right yeah i will share i will share it uh, in the group sir the presentation i will share it uh, in the group and uh, now i will share uh, quiz in the link, chat box dear participants you may take uh, two uh, two and a half hours of time uh, by the two o'clock before joining the afternoon session please complete it afternoon we have the one more session at 2 pm uh, we will start at 2 pm please join uh, in the session five minutes before the uh, scheduled time thank you sir thank you for accepting my invitation and uh, uh, presenting wonderful uh, presentation for your wonderful presentation and uh, uh, it's very useful and which enlightens our knowledge in the area of uh, iot which is a uh, uh, upcoming and burning area in our electrical engineering i may say that uh, which helps uh, a lot to the uh, researchers to think towards this one uh, this area thank you sir thank you very much uh, for your insights and enlightening us Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, Norman. Yeah. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. P. V. Ramarao for uh, giving this uh, insights on the IoT. It is uh, really rightly you said it is a um, very burning area. But uh, nowadays, all the electrical people are, uh, are what they are thinking about. They are doing their research in the electrical itself, power system, power electronics, and other. But nowadays, all the research are going in interdisciplinary. So it, I, I thought that it is very helpful to the all the participants, I think so. Once again, I thank uh, Dr. P. V. Ramarao, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, uh, each and every participant, uh, for bearing with us uh, uh, with low internet connectivity or network issue. Definitely, in, uh, in the afternoon session, we will overcome that one. The weather might be in good condition. And uh, uh, just now, the power uh, came back. Uh, definitely, we won't face such problem in the, I hope uh, we won't face such problem in the afternoon session, that network issue. Uh, thank you. Thank you, one and all. Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir, for giving, uh, uh, for uh, spending your valuable time. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Sir, accessing the um, small yeah, doubt for yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, which language uh, program language is uh, better for that uh, IoT, sir? Is a uh, embedded or a uh, uh, C language or uh, any Python in this much of languages, sir? I think now it is Python, sir. Python. Uh, I think now it is Python, sir. Python uh, actually uh, one can uh, very implement Python. Yeah, okay, okay, sir. People are not as trying the Python. People are not as. Yeah, okay, sir. So, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Anandal. Uh, we'll meet again in the afternoon session at 2 p.m. Thank you. Sir?